to be with uh, Russell Fox, who's a, a thatcher on site at Grand Designs Live, and uh, he's been doing this thatching example here over the three days of the show. And um, Russell, we've got a few questions for you about uh, the advantages of, of thatch. Um, so if you ask you, know, when did thatch start? How old is the process? I think it's one of the oldest roofs, roofing methods known. It's obviously changed over the years to what we know now, because basically, you know, a few hundred years ago, or 50 years ago, every farm labourer could thatch. And it was seen as like a poor person's roof. And then gradually it's changed and now it's you know, as popular as it is now. Okay, and um, you know, what do you think are the, the, the real core advantages for somebody having a, a thatch roof? Well, I mean, the insulating properties of thatch, 12 inches of thatch is equivalent to 6 inches of rock wall. So that's a start. And also it's the, you know, the aesthetic looks of it, which people see as quintessentially English. Does it have um, sort of insulating properties and advantages over other materials as well? Well, it doesn't necessarily over, over tiles. I mean, you, don't, you wouldn't need to insulate your roof apart from you know, lagging your loft, but it will give you the prop you know, insulation properties of you know, six inches of rock, which is as good as uh, insulating properties. Okay, fantastic. Um, and you know, would you would you say that uh, that thatching your roof is really a, a, an eco, green, environmentally friendly option? Absolutely. I mean, all the materials we've supplied with, is, you know, most of it comes from Britain. It's grown organically in the old-fashioned methods. You know, we're keeping life coppicing for things like the hazel spars, which we use either on the ridge or if you're thatching over an old coat. So it keeps old old things still alive. Otherwise, the coppices and things like that will all die out. Okay, and are, is thatch making a comeback? Are, are more people getting out there and deciding to have their roof thatched? There's more. There's definitely more interest in it. I mean, if a house is thatched, it has to stay thatched. But a lot more new builds coming in, and that's sort of keeping the trade buoyant, should we say? Because we rely on the old, you know, with the old houses to uh, start again. Okay, fantastic. And um, you know, how, how much does it cost? I mean, if, you know, for, per, per, per square foot, what, what are we paying to have it's thatched up? It depends what material it is. What I've thatched here with is cone wheat straw. Due to the bad harvest over the last couple of years, straw prices have doubled over the last 12 months. So the prices now for cone wheat straw, which has a life expectancy of about 40 years, is about £14 per square foot of roof. Whereas a water reed roof, which is sort of here, that's got a life expectancy of about well over 70 years, but that, the price now is £11 per square foot. So it's you know, by far and away the best option if, you're, if you've got a new build, but because we're governed by councils, if a house is thatched in straw, it has to be re-thatched in straw. If it's thatched in water reed, it has to be thatched in water reed. And, and, and how long would you say that uh, a roof's got to be re-thatched once it's been done once? I mean, 20 years, 30 years? What's no, if, if it's cone wheat straw, which is this material I've, I've worked with here, that, that's got a life expectancy between 35 and 40 years. And I say the water reed, 70 to 100 years easily.